Grounded's last update is fast approaching. It's going to be adding new game plus and a whole load of new content. But a lot of it is focused for when you've completed the game for at least once. So what do you actually have to do? Using my footage from my 100 days where I did absolutely everything possible, I am breaking it down as a checklist now of the minimum. I'm going to list the exact requirements to begin New Game Plus, forgetting some of the side quests and side areas that you can explore. You can go and check out the rest of my detail guides for anything else. So you have to retrieve the Super Burgle Chips. These can be found in the various laboratories around the backyard. After you've spoken to Burgle in the oak tree, that's when these begin. Although you can do them out of order. The hedge doesn't have to be the first one. You can take on the pond. You need four of these Super Burgle Chips to progress to the next stage. So that's the hedge kind of done. And that's the basics, which I'm sure a lot of you have already completed. Now the Broodmother boss fight is an optional boss in the past, but now it's a requirement as you're going to have to defeat it to go ahead and activate New Game Plus. So you must go to the pods that's above the hedge or inside the laboratories to retrieve the recipe to craft the consumable to go and summon it. And then just a simple matter of defeating it. This is, I'm sure, something you guys have already done. It's later stages that a lot of players kind of drop off grounded. Spicy weapons are going to be your friend here, and especially the Spicy Cortana. You can see the difference in days before I finally took it on. Next up is the pond. You have to complete this to gain the second Super Burgle chip. In the hedge, you have to find password pieces to activate the secret door. For the pond, it's about returning on three separate fans you'll find just close to the entrance to the pond lab. Burgle chip number two. Next up is the Haze Laboratory. You will need a gas mask to withstand the deadly fog that surrounds the entranceway, and there are two ways that you can get in. Go and check out, obviously, my more detailed guides for all of these laboratories. Trying to avoid the explosive fungus and taking on the mini boss, which is the infected ladybug. A few infected mites later, and you'll also have the third burgle chip. The last of the burgle chips that you need to gain access to the Undershed Laboratory is the Black Ant Lab. Fiercely guarded in a labyrinth of tunnels, making your way to the actual lab entrances. You'll need plenty of bombs with you to break open the glass and take on the assistant manager. This boss fight will change in New Game Plus, with the lasers turning on different axes. And of course, in New Game Plus, the bosses will all have different attributes and a lot more health. Final super chip completed. So just like the Broodmother and the special item you're going to need to summon it, you're going to need the same or similar for the rest of the bosses like the Mantis and the Woz Queen. All three of these creatures need to be defeated if you want to begin New Game Plus. So you need to head to the secret pond half lab that's just underneath the oak tree in the pond and open up this doorway. This opens up the stump in the upper yard laboratory and this is where you can pick up the recipe to go ahead and take on the Mantis. Just bring your jumping boots with you as there's quite a bit of parkour. If you're really new to Grounded, this might seem incredibly easy and quick. Don't forget, this is just a checklist of the bare minimum. Of course, you're going to be spending a lot of time unlocking and getting new weapons and armor, as well as finding some of the side burgle chips that unlock new recipes. But technically, this is all you have to actually do to finish and complete the game. So once you've found all four super burgle chips, it's time to go up to the shed deck and climb onto the chair. This is where you're going to find Wendell Scabby. Activating it with a fuse that you'll get from Burgle will give you the location of Wendell, or the last location he was at. And that is the Undershed, as I mentioned earlier. There'll be a special doorway that will eventually lead you to Wendell and the transformation that he's undergone before also being having to take on the Mant. So once this is done, then you can begin the final Mixer defense. It's at this point that a lot of people would go and maybe build up and take on the Mantis as well as the Woz Queen. Because the bosses were optional and I didn't really need the arm set or the weapon, I left my Mantis boss fight until the very end of my 100 days. Remember you got the recipe to craft the food that she will be summoned by when you got the upper stump lab completed. But you can do these boss fights in any order and you could go ahead and do the mix of final defense first or last. The Mantis arena is obviously easy to spot on top of the shed decking inside the plant pot. But of the Woz Queen, you have to go and destroy three Woz nests and take on a lot of the creatures to anger them so that they break out of the burrow that exists underneath the Brawny Boy bin box. You'll pick up the recipe to summon the Woz Queen directly outside her spawn point so you don't have to go or travel very far. So that is it. You don't need to defeat Director Schmetter. You don't need to take on the infected Broodmother. You don't have to do any of the other stuff in the game if you want to go ahead and just race through to see what New Game Plus would be like. 
Obviously, the new game plus is going to be difficult and challenging, so you do kind of want as many resources as possible, but you never know. Some of you guys out there just might really like the idea of some of the stuff that's going to be in it and just want to get there as quick as possible. So the last thing for me to do right now is that mix of defense. You have to go and speak to Burgle and turn on the Java-matic and then defend these three points from lots of orc creatures. Now, supposedly, it's meant to be an easier fight if you've gone and taken on Director Schmetzer first. Either that or there's meant to be less orc creatures around the yard, but honestly, you can never really tell. Sour weapons are your friend and go mad using up resources to have lots of defenses because you're going to be doing this over and over again in New Game Plus. So don't demolish any of your defenses to take back with you, keep them there as you're probably going to need them for new waves of creatures that may not just be orc in the future, they're probably going to be infused with the new candy powers or attributes and maybe definitely a lot harder. So once completed and turned on the Java-matic, you'll receive the Embiggening Potion, which normally means you can exit and finish the game. Instead, you're going to head to the secret door that is on the side of the pond, just in the flowerbed wall. It's been updated with the Paxi showcase showing off exactly what I've been speaking about. The three bosses we defeat, the Java-matic, and then yes, we can begin New Game Plus. This is the only right now screenshot we've seen of what's behind the door, but we're presuming there's a mechanism here that begins the process. New Game Plus apparently can be played as many times as you want, over and over again. And if you still got to this point in the video and you don't know what it means, it means that enemies will be tougher, they will hit harder. Certain bugs are going to be infused with new attributes, dropping new resources for you to go ahead and craft new weapons and gear. To carry on helping you upgrade and face against the tougher foes, you'll be able to pick up new randomised locations for milk molars and raw science. What we don't know and we need clarification on is whether or not the old locations for milk molars and raw science are still going to exist, as it will certainly help out a lot if we can still access some of the old ones. But all your gear, all of your base pieces, anything you've built will remain and stay in the same place. Bosses are also going to get tougher as they will also have a chance to be infused or will be infused and the minions that they spawn will also have a chance to be infused. So things are definitely going to be mixed up and changed a lot. So the best advice right now is start getting good at taking them on individually, repeating boss fights over and over again as much as possible. Obviously with Director Schmetter you may want to load up a creative mode or a playgrounds mode and you can go ahead and take him on. In fact, likewise for the rest of the bosses, playground mode might be the easiest way to go ahead and repeat lots of fights against some of these creatures, although you will have to factor in you're not going to be fighting them in their same arenas. And that is the process for New Game Plus. Rinse and repeat. Take on the three bosses, complete the Java-matic, and you will be able to begin another grounded replay. Of course, I've done so many guides, taking a look at so many of these laboratories, boss fights, new gear and more. Just go and check them all out in the past and I'll be looking forward to all the brand new content that's going to be arriving with the update on the 16th of April. Until next time, Ratbags, I'll catch you later.